Say it. Say, say it. Please. <laughs> Welcome back. So, today, today I want to talk about how old can you be and still improve your eyesight. And in today's blog post, which link below, uh, we've got Shelly, who is 50, and 50 is not particularly old since I'm 40. And Shelly, I'm gonna read this from the laptop, which is just out of sight below. So Shelly says, she's gone from a minus four, minus 4.25 to a minus 2.75. That is a really nice improvement. And she says, thanks for the email, Jake. Uh, I thought I'd let you know I made progress. I've reduced from a full prescription of minus four, minus 4.25 to the latest distance prescription of minus 2.75. I'm pretty excited. You should be. As a plus 50 year old with a long history of contact lens wear, I'm not sure how far I can go, but I'm going to see. You know, if you can make it to minus 2.75 from a minus four, you can go to 2020. The stimulus remains the same. So if your habits remain the same, if your practices remain the same, the improvement is gonna continue all the way to 2020. There's no that's the cool thing about this process. There is no like set limit like there would be with like baits and other stuff. Uh, I really want to go down another fourth of a diopter, but I have to really get on top of this one first. Yeah, take your time. I can see really clearly when the sun is shining, but not so much when it's heavily overcast. Mm -hmm. I can now understand why that isn't just push focus more on those cloudy days. My family thinks I'm nuts. Welcome to the club. I eagerly, I eagerly read each installment you put out. I'm also digging into the blog as much as I have time for. Thanks for the blog and videos, Shelly. You're welcome, Shelly. So there is technically no age limit. As long as you're alive, as long as you can see stuff, and as long as you haven't had like cataract surgery, which is another topic, there is no limit. There is no limit. It's not like building muscle or other things that that reduces with age, your ability to do it reduces with age. Um, you know, your lens gets harder, so your, your focusing muscle has a harder time focusing on things up close. So you may have some trouble with reading, but as far as distance vision, no reason to not work on that. Uh, also in the same blog post, link below, there's Jana who has improved by half a diopter in the last two months. And that's courtesy of the logging tool, which is very cool and I'm happy to see that it's getting used. Check out the blog, because I'm too lazy to paste all this into this video, but half a diopter in two months and it shows all her centimeter improvements. So if you're a forum member, you can also see all the extra details, which is handy. And what else? Yeah, that's about it. Um, age, but not an excuse. And and for whatever reason, especially recently, I've been getting more of those questions from people that are slightly older. And I think, I think it's a great project because it reaffirms, you know, society always says you can't do this and you can't do that and blah, blah, blah. And there's certain expectations with age in particular, which I don't know, I find pretty nonsensical. But I think it's very helpful to pull yourself out of this this curve of as you get older, you know, like things get harder with biology, it doesn't have to be with eyes. So if you improve your eyesight, it kind of gives you a renewed perspective, I think. Um, that's it for today. It's Friday, so if you're watching this chronologically today, we're gonna be Saturday, Sunday, we're at the beach usually. I might bring a camera along, maybe and see what happens with that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Mouks? Mouks? <laughs> Is there mouks behind the fridge? <laughs> what? I think it is correct. It is correct. Uh, why are you laughing at me? I'm not laughing at you at all.
M O U S E Mouse. Mouse. 